It would be a funny world without steel. We use it all over the place. Steel gives backbone to buildings, for example. How do you get at oil without steel? And most of the things that aren't made of steel are still made with it. Maybe life without steel wouldn't be funny at all. Just as well British steel's so healthy. British steel in shape for things to come. If you're buying from the trade, go to Asga. Asga offer you one of the widest choices of ladies' wear, children's wear, men's wear, knitwear, and bedding, all competitively priced. Visit Asga Monday to Friday, 10 to 8, or Sunday, 10 to 2. At Asga, we look after the trade only. His first time alone at the dentist. I'd hate him to need fillings this time. My teeth were weak, but at least his should be stronger. His teeth are stronger, thanks to a new toothpaste which strengthens tooth enamel against decay. New enamel in formula crest. Imagine tooth enamel is like a wall. Some areas are more prone to decay. But new crest strengthens those areas to help block decay. No fillings. New enamel in formula crest. A stronger wall against decay. Where, we wonder, did the engineers at Audi draw their inspiration for the extraordinary Audi 90 Quattro? For the road-gluing four-wheel drive, for example, with Torsen differential. ABS system with manual override. Or the powerful 136 bhp engine. Was wird nächste Woche? So, next week's film? Frankenstein. Das ist eine gute Prüfung der Stoßdämpfer. Apparently, that's a good test of the shock absorbers. Vorsprung durch Technik, as they say at the Audi Film Club. If you're a small company in a big hurry, a Nefax is a very good idea. If you're a bigger company in an even bigger hurry, stick with Nefax. And if you're in a hurry to be the biggest, well, our range of fax machines is the greatest. In fact, we've improved more companies' communications than you've had hot dinners. Nothing can outfax a Nefax. Call 834-9222. Ask for Nefax. Hurry. Spike Jones, what a loony! That's what you'll find, but actually the thing is he wasn't really a loony. I think he was just one of those guys who was a loony in exchange for money. Because he started out as a drummer, but unfortunately for him, he came up against very heavy competition from cats like Gene Krupa and Buddy Rich, so he found that he just wasn't getting the jobs like he wanted to, and that's why he got into being very kooky and quirky. But the thing is, like a lot of this surreal anarchic bedlam on screen, it was actually totally tightly rehearsed, and musically it's incredibly strong, in fact. So